Hey friends, wanted to do a quick Core Clarity and Strengths Finder update video for you and uh, give you the overview of the core drill that I was assigned and uh, the strengths that I have. And so um, real quickly, the top five strengths I, I received this time uh, were Maximizer, Ideation, Strategic, Connectedness, and Woo. Uh, this is the third time that I've taken the Strengths Finder. And a few stayed the same, but uh, really interestingly, Maximizer and Ideation are new strengths for me. And um, and I think they fit very well um, with with how I lead with with kind of my personality and 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 the strengths that that I lead from. Um, real quickly, an overview of those strengths. Maximizer is really all about um, pursuing excellence and recognizing potential for excellence and taking what's good, moving it to what's great. Um, really about mobilizing people and and the self into that place. Um, ideation is is exactly how it sounds. Just really connected with. Um, perspectives and ideas and innovations and uh, being creative and I think that fits really well with um, with who I am with how I lead with uh, the things that I'm passionate and love to do um, kind of the creative arts of music and poetry and writing um, I also have strategic which plays into decision making um, kind of having just like a gut instinct um, innately of hey maybe we should go this direction with this and um, kind of leading from that place of a, a more of a bigger picture, um, but also thinking through um, different bigger pictures for those those situations. Uh, connectedness is all about seeing the connections of different events, different people, um, and that's very true. I think um, I have uh, definitely a faith of God's grace at work in each person's life, um, and I love being a part of the process of helping people to find that. Um, and then finally, woo. Uh, is my last one, which has actually been um, <laughs> my last strength every time that I've taken the uh, Strengths Finder test. And um, in the assessment this time, you know, I was I was just really it was just really helpful for me to recognize that people are um, just naturally drawn towards me, and um, it it really helped as I was talking through with the the Strengths Find uh, the Core Clarity Coach on Wu to recognize um, different boundaries that I've set up and established and just kind of an affirmation of those and um, with Wu being people being drawn and wanting to share more openly and what that could look like for um, you know the opposite sex or, or whatever boundaries that that I have set up and I'm, I'm, I'm really actually um, proud of the dialogue that my wife and I have had and the boundaries that that I've kept in that manner. Um, with that said uh, those are uh, a lot of strengths that are actually part of the mobilize, which is the purple, the external motivation, um, and the reflect, which is the interaction internal categories. Um, so when they assigned me the core drill uh, or the core clarity ID, it came out to be the thought rocket, um, which is kind of cool. Uh, as the core clarity coach was talking, she was really excited because she doesn't get to talk with a lot of people that have that that core drill. Um, and basically, what that ends up um, spelling out is that thought rockets are kind of high performers, really driven. Um, will jump in to help or serve or shape mission. Um, really like leading and and kind of taking taking charge in things. And um, I love being around people. I love motivating and inspiring and being innovative. Um, and at the same time, I also enjoy uh, downtime, time to reflect, time to think, time to um, kind of just be alone. And then um, I think one of the things that was really spot on is that I'm either going as fast as I can or I'm just not doing anything, um, which I think is is pretty true. Um, and I think it was pretty eye-opening for me to recognize um, that in, in leadership and how that could be a good thing of how I'm going to get stuff done, of how I'm going to be... Um, leading and, and empowering others and being innovative and inspiring, um, and yet at the same time also needing the space to connect with others relationally, um, really open up and share in those places, connect um, with the Lord more and kind of just do the the medium speed stuff too. Um, that way I'm not going 100 miles per hour and doing everything that I can until I can't do any more, and um, we all know that just leads to burnout. And so... Um, I think that was a really helpful insight for me as, as I went through uh, the Core Clarity coaching call. Um, I think another aha that I had um, really in this season, obviously um, with transition, feeling imminent and um, really uncertain about what's next, I think that plays into the lack of a kind of a connection quadrant or relational quadrant of 
um, maybe like a distancing that's happening right now and um, not as much opening up with the people around me like I, I normally would. Um, as well as seeing Maximizer as number one, um, I'm really wanting to finish well and do things with excellence. Um, and so as a part of that, I think it was really helpful to hear from the, the coach of how sometimes um, the, really the goal for maximizers is to know when to use it and when not to. Um, and sometimes with maximizers, it's really easy to see somebody that doesn't want to pursue the excellence or you know take it from good to great. They kind of just want to get it done. Um, and there might be some disregarding from the maximizer towards that person. So um, it was really helpful for me to go through that that coaching call and hear that. Um, also with ideation, just hearing you know um, what ideas have been spoken out and really what needs to be done and what were just ideas for that meeting. And that was kind of an affirmation of something that I've been practicing with different teams that I oversee. Um, so yeah, I had a great time with the, the core clarity coaching call. Um, I think it was really helpful for me to, to see those things and to see how they play into my current vocation, uh, and role. And, and also, um, I think it's, it's, it's really awesome that I got the opportunity to do this in the midst of a transitional period, um, or feeling like a transitional period so that I could be thinking about how these strengths will play into the next season of leadership and that call in ministry and life and marriage and family and relationships and whatever it may be. So, um, yeah, really grateful, really blessed to have gone through this and uh, excited to hear your guys' stories on um, how it was for you. Alrighty, thanks. <laughs>